everyone, it's Afme Briars and I'm back today with my Briarfest unboxing as promised. So my Briarfest box actually arrived about like 10 days ago but I've just come back from holiday so I apologise if I'm like a bit jet lagged and look a bit rough. Um, I landed at like 4am yesterday and I've had about three hours sleep but I still wanted to get my Briarfest horses unboxed. So here I am, as you can see the box has been opened so I came back last night and all through holiday I had been wondering which random special run I had been selected for and I just couldn't wait any longer so yesterday I did open the box just to kind of check everything was there and see what special run I got. So we'll start with the bad news first. Um, I got the bears for my special run which I'll be honest I'm really disappointed about so these bears are just not my cup of tea at all. Um, I think they're a cool idea, the packaging is quite cute, but I really don't like non-equine things, like I'm really not into bears, and I'm really not into deco bears especially, so I am going to be selling these, um, I'm just kind of disappointed that I paid $100, so I paid the increased price um, because I was an online participant, and I got the cheapest special run, the $60 bears, and I don't even like them, and I'm probably going to sell them at a loss to be honest, so... That wasn't the greatest start. I was really not happy about that, to be honest. Um, but that's what you get with Gambler's Choice. I probably won't be doing it again. Um, I kind of think it was really expensive and I didn't get what I wanted. So I'm not going to do it again next year if they do it. I'm probably just going to wait for the secondhand market or look into getting a pickup next year. But we're going to stop moaning about it because I can't do anything about it. They are for sale. So if anyone wants some bears, and hit me up I can put you in touch with some bears and I am taking offers on them so if you're interested let me know anyway let's move on to some more fun stuff and the horses so the first horse I have in here is Chardonnay so on the little flash mold and my first impression of him is that he has really nice colouring he's really really pretty and he's like quite a rich chestnut so I will get him out of his box in a moment for us to take a closer look at him but he is really cute so I'm glad I got him then we also have Chablis who is my first on the Idicus mold actually and I really like the braided mane and tail version of this mold I'm not too keen on like the normal mane version just because I find like the mane looks really lifted because of the seam, so I'm not too keen on that. But I do really like this colour. I love a good bay, and he seems really handsome. So I think he'll be look lovely in some tack. So that's why I got him. And then we have in this box some stable mates, and I got the Best of Briar Fest Series Two set. I like all the some stable mates in this set actually. Um, I really really like the little Prince Charming Pinto, that's really cute, absolutely adore the thoroughbred, love a Croy and I do like the cantering warm blood moles, she's really cute and this guy just has a nice colour on him. Um, so overall I really like the steel mate set, I'll get them out in a moment to show you them up close. And then finally, last but not least, I got the Venice Strat. Um, so this is a split of matte and glossy and I don't really mind which one I get too much like I'm not a massive glossy person so if it's matte I'm not, I'm not bothered all my other Georges which you can see behind me are matte so that would be fine but we'll see if we've got any a matte or a glossy in here um, like I say with my look probably matte but that's fine by me yeah we got the matte dude which is actually better for photography, so I'm not mad about that. Let's get him open. Mm -hmm. Go. He's got his little tag thing on him. Uh, so this is the Rhenish German Draft on the George Mold or Georg. I just never know how to pronounce it. I think it's Georg, Georg. Um, but this is one of my favourite Briar moulds. I love heavy horses and I really like this colour. He's a really nice, rich and well shaded horse. Um, I don't think mine's too flawed actually. He looks pretty good. So I'm quite happy with him and he'll be joining my current conga. So that'll be five in my conga, which is quite nice. And he just has the sweetest face. I love this mould. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do is I will unbox everything and take it out of the packaging, show you some close-ups 
And I'll also show you some models that have arrived that I'm counting as part of my Briar Fest haul because they arrived basically at the same time as this package and I just love them and I need to show you them. So bear with me and we'll take a closer look at the models. Starting up our close-ups, I've actually bought out Nicholas, who was this year's Briar Fest celebration model. I unboxed him a few weeks ago as he arrived separately and was free with my Briar Fest ticket. And I think he's a really lovely model. He's a new mould um, for Briar, so this is his first release. And I think he's a super cute sport type pony, which we don't really have many of those um, type moulds in, in the Briar lineup at the moment. Like most of the ponies are like tiny little ponies. I mean, he is quite small. He's kind of like classic -y size compared to some of the bigger traditionals, but it does fit with his breed. And then we can see his offside there. Mine does have some flaws, like quite a lot of the Nicholas's. Um, mainly he's got this like slightly dodgy ear here with some rough paint. And he's got a few little rubs, but I really like him. He's perfect for doing little scenes and setups with. So even though I don't think he'll really have a show career, he is still a really nice model to keep on my shelf. And I made him a little head collar set and it's probably one of the most smallest like finickety head collars I've made just because he's got quite a like small refined head. But he's actually one of my favourites from this year. And here we have Chardonnay on our flash mould. He was a limited edition for this year and a portrait model. He has a really nice big blaze and some pinking on his nose. Some nice shading in his mane. You've got some socks and stockings and I really love the way his tail kind of fades out. And then if I spin him round, here he is from the other side. I do really like the flash mould. I think it's like a really nice pony club, active horse mould and it's really grown on me. I do have Avatar's Jasmine as well who was another kind of guest horse at this year's Briar Fest. So it's nice to kind of have the two of them together. And so that's Chardonnay, really nice model. Overall, mine has some really nice shading. He does have a very small rub on his offside from the box, but I think I can get round that and I'm hoping to get him in some photo shows soon. Chablis is now in our light box for a little close up and here is his face. It's a really cute little face. I do really like the face on this mold and I like his kind of broken blaze marking. He does have detailed eyes, um, I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up because it really hates doing close work, but he does have like brown, black and white eye whites, which is quite nice, it makes him just a little bit more detailed. We've got his braided mane, here's like his hoof markings and his socks, and then if I spin him round, got his braided tail. And again, he does have a very small rub on his offside. I think that's been like a theme with the limited editions this year. But he's a really nice model. Again, I think he'll look really nice in tack. And I'm glad to have more standing models because I was really struggling with like barn scenes because lots of my models were action models. So it's nice to have some really nice standing models as well, just to vary it up for the photos I take. So that's Shibli. Mine doesn't have an awful lot of dappling. I think in the promos I saw him as like quite a dappled model, but there's maybe some faint ones on this side. You can't really tell on the camera. And they're a little bit more pronounced on his barrel this side, but he's not really that dapply, um, which is okay. I don't really mind too much. He has got nice shading to make up for it. And overall, I do really like him. Oh, and I meant to show you as well. All the Briar Fest models have this little Briar Fest stamp on them so that you can tell they came from Briar Fest 2022. Okay, so up next, our last traditional for this haul. This is the Rhenish German Coldblood, who was an online exclusive, but anyone could buy him. You didn't just have to be an online um, attendee, you could also buy him if you went in person, you just had to buy online. And he's on a popular mould, so I think quite a lot of people ended up getting him. The only thing I would say is a little bit disappointing is his masking around his mane is a little bit messy. Like the more I look at it, the more I'm like, oh, they were a bit all over the place. But I guess it's just because it's such a contrast to his base colour. And like you can see it's a bit sloppy around his ears, but I'm, I can live with it. It's not the end of the world. He has got really nice shading. Like I think they've done a really nice colouring on his base coat. Um, and if I spin him this way. This is what he looks like from the offside. 
and then he does have a little gold this time sticker underneath too um stamp sorry of briarfest 2022 so he is a really nice model and i'm happy to add him to my little conga that i've got going on um as i say his masking around his mane is interesting but i think with any model where there is quite a big contrast between their mane and their base coat and they've got quite a complicated mane it can be a risk with these OF models. Now it's the turn of the minis and we're starting off with this little dude. I think he's called Schumacher and he is the little G3 Mustang. And I do really like this model. Um, I'm not so keen on the mold, but this color is really nice. It's kind of like this ready done with some Appaloosa mark blanket markings. He's got some little shoulder markings from his dorsal stripe. He's got some leg barring and he's a really nice like red done colour. Super, super nice. And he's got the eye whites as well. A bit of pinking on his nose. He's a really nice stable mate actually. Um, I'm really, really impressed with how much detail they've managed to pack into this little guy. So I didn't, like, I thought he was like my least favourite of the stable mates in this pack. But actually he's really, really nice. And he hasn't really got any flaws that I can see. So... I'm looking forward to being able to take him out showing hopefully at some point. Here we have Mayfield, Mayfeld, that's the one. Um, Mayfeld who is a little cantering warm blood with a leopard appaloosa pattern. All these models have been inspired by um, Briarfest, like the Brazil year. Um, they're like throwback models, which is what Briar has been doing for the last two series. This is series three. I think I called it series two earlier, but this is series three. I got series two last year. So they're basically like mini me's of raffle and prize models from different years of Briarfest. So this was the Brazil year. And I really like this girl. She is my like first on the Cantering Warmblood mold. I did used to have quite a few like when I was originally in the hobby. And then I don't have any at the minute. So it's nice to have her back. And especially one with such a nice pattern. Again, I really can't wait to show her because she has a really really nice finish to her she's much nicer in person than i think the promo photos um, made her look this little one is called muller and is a little glossy bay croy she does have some little dapples which i'm not sure how well they're picking up on camera here but um they are super cute and on the lighter bits of her barrel and then if i spin her around same the other side she's a really nice color and i think the gloss does bring out the bay really really nicely She's got a little blaze and four white socks. She's just a really cute little model. I do have a soft spot for the Croy stable mate. I like it much more than the traditional version of Croy. So I'm adding her to my little stable mate Croys. This little dude is Linza. Um, so this is on the like fairly new Prince Charming stable mate mold that just came out in horse form this year with the stable mate club. And I really like the pattern on this horse. Sadly, mine like the back area there's quite a few like smudges and a few rubs which is sad because this was one of the models i was really excited about from the set but i think i can possibly try and remove those little bits of pain i'll have a little go anyway but the um show side like her photo showing is absolutely fine really really nice and here's the marking at the front i feel like most of my horses have blazers this year like all of the markings are like blazers. Um, but he's really, really nice. Nice shading in the bay. So I like him. And then finally, we have, oops, this little dude who's on the walking thoroughbred mold. And I think this is the most interesting colour of the set. So this is Rattler. And the reason I really like this guy is he's got quite a lot of dapples. Like maybe they're slightly fish scaly, but they kind of blend in quite nicely. He's got little flea bites and then he has this really cool marking on his face and I was just really drawn to this model so I mainly bought this set to like make sure I did get this guy. And I do really like the walking thoroughbred stable mate mold as well, it's one of my favourites. So that's him and then if I put him here we get a little view of the whole set. Just move this guy back a little bit. There we go. So that's the whole of the Best of Briarfest series free set. Last but not least, I wanted to include these two as part of my Briarfest haul. So these are 3D printed resins by Clarity Studios UK. Here we have um, Beauty and we've got Pegos Pegoso, I think he's called. Um, 
and he is obviously a pegasus which is in a lying down position he's got a lovely luscious long mane and tail and just look at the detail and the sculpt with him he's just so impressive and i do really like pegasuses and i feel like there's not an awful lot of models of them so i really wanted to get this guy but then clarity studios threw a spanner in the works because i was just going to get the pegasus and then she released this dude who is beauty and he's essentially the horse version with like a pulled mane um, but he's meant to be like Black Beauty in the field at the end of the film, which is like one of my favourite scenes and favourite films. And I just absolutely love this guy as a horse as well. Um, mainly because I feel like we don't have an awful lot of lying down horses in the hobby. And I think it's just interesting to have something a bit different. You can see he's got so much detail, like the hooves are carved out. The veins are all present. Like he's just stunning. She just always does such a good job with her 3D printed resins. I've painted a couple now. I've painted um, Geralt, who's like a trotting Frisian, Griffin, his little Irish cob. And I've also painted some mini Herberts um, that she's done. All of them have been an absolute dream to prime and prep because there's minimal work to do with them. Like they're literally ready for you to chuck some primer on them. And they just always seem to like take the colour really well. I don't know really how to describe it, but... I absolutely love working with these and are obsessed. So I technically bought them back in April, um, which is way before Briarfest, but they arrived literally last week. So I thought I would chuck them in this video so you can see how beautiful they are. Let me know in the comments if you've got any colour suggestions for them. I'm kind of stumped at the moment. I don't really know what I want to do with them yet, but I can't wait to get some colour on them. So here we have it. This is my full Briarfest haul all together crammed in my light box. And I'm really happy with all these models. I absolutely adore the colours and the range of moulds for the stablemate set this year. I love that I've got some ponies, a draft and like a warm blood to kind of mix up some breeds in my collection. And I absolutely adore the more I look at this guy, Shibli. He's probably my favourite, I think. Um, but I've got also some beautiful 3D resins that have arrived as well and I can't wait to paint those. So I am feeling really lucky. I do absolutely love the models here that I've got. I didn't, as I say, have much luck with the random special run, so I will be selling those and hopefully I can track down maybe some of the ones I like on the second market, secondary market instead. So I'm kind of hoping to find maybe like one of the surprise horses, either like the Grey Pinto or the Appaloosa pin, um, the Leopard Appaloosa one, because they were my favourites of the surprises, or maybe like Rapunzel, um, possibly Stein. I don't think I'll find a Stein in the UK, but if I did, I would be tempted. So I may end up producing a video if I end up tracking down a special run second hand. But overall, I can't grumble. Um, I was lucky enough to go to Briarfest and to get these beautiful models. So I'm going to leave this video here. I just wanted to give a shout out whilst I'm here to Briar Sport, who is on Instagram and YouTube. And she made me this lovely wristband that's supposed to mimic the wristbands from Briarfest for us as we um, obviously were attending online so we didn't get any wristbands but it's in the German flag colours and it's super cute of her to have made that for me. Um, I've been wearing it whilst I've been doing this haul video and I'm going to keep it on whilst I appreciate all my models. Um, so thank you very much to Briar Sport for that. Do go and check her out on Instagram and YouTube as she makes some really great videos and she's overall a lovely hobbyist. So there we go. That's the end of my Briarfest haul for this year. And I hope you had a great Briarfest wherever you were. Let me know in the comments what was your favourite model as well from this year's Briarfest. And I'll see you again in another video soon. Bye bye. <laughs>